score at stake. And we as coaches ask more of our players because of the tradition that comes with wearing those uniforms. Many good players, and more importantly, many good men have worn them. There is a certain responsibility we have as coaches to make our players better, sure. But more importantly, we want to teach them what it means to be a good teammate, a responsible young adult, and the importance of balancing schoolwork with recreation. We hope they learned at least some of these things this year. As coaches, we cannot ask for anything more. As Andre Dawson said in his Hall of Fame speech last summer, if you love the game, it will love you back. We saw that happen this spring, even though it may have taken until the last game of the season. Big 5-4 win over Iona. Yeah. On to the personal awards. This player did not begin the year in the starting lineup. After a few games, however, he had the lineup at second base and never relinquished his post. He would consistently sacrifice his own at-bats for his teammates behind him. He had seven multi-hit games and led the team in runs that day. More importantly, he could always be counted on to get a clutch hit in a tight ball game. When the game was on the line, this was the guy we wanted in the batter's box. The best offensive player award goes to Joe Shishak.